Hey, what's happening everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the comic book version of Princess Leia Organa. So I did not read these comics, but I did do a little bit of research and I found out that this was a five issue wave of comics that ran from March till July of 2015. And this box art was taken from issue number five. Awesome looking picture. Now, even though I'm not familiar with this version of Leia, when I saw the figure, I had to have it. And like I mentioned, this box art was taken from issue number five. Same exact picture, but what a great picture. I love this. Princess Leia looks awesome. Princess Leia up here. Got a downed stormtrooper right there. Love it. And you got Princess Leia Organa at the bottom. If you pop this open, the figure looks beautiful. I mean, through the window there, you can see Leia. Just gorgeous. She comes with her Defender Sporting Blaster and an E11. So this is the new style E11 with the extended magazine. There's like a flashlight on it. It's a little bit shorter. It's fine. Got Princess Leia Organa down there. On the inside flap, you have this picture. Awesome, love that. And you have Princess Leia Organa once again and short bios in five different languages. And I'll just read the bio real quick. It just says, Princess Leia Organa was one of the greatest leaders of the Rebel Alliance, fearless on the battlefield and dedicated to ending the Empire's tyranny. So that is the inside just gorgeous we close this top of the box looks like that great looking picture that side some more artwork love it this side you have princess leia right there once again great picture star wars the black series there and up here we have princess leia argana once again and that's what the back looks like you got a great looking picture of chewie han leia and luke and all this very small print that most people my age can't even see to read all right i'm going to get this comic book version of leia open and let's take a look at her all right, so here is Princess Leia Organa out of the box, and let's get a good look at her. Start up here with the head and face, and wow, this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is gorgeous. So I'm thinking this may be the same face from Ewok Village Leia. I don't have that one in hand, but it looks strikingly similar to that one. It's definitely different from Endor and Yavin and, you know, the classic A New Hope look. And I think it's a little bit different from Hoth Leia as well, even though the body is Hoth Leia uh, for the most part. But um, God, this face is just beautiful. The eyes, the eyebrows, nose, mouth, skin tone. It's not shiny like some. I mean, this is just a well done face for Leia. And the hair, the hair looks, the hair looks good. These little braids coming down, this bun back here, all these little waves. This little braid across the front there, you know, up here on top. Great looking hair sculpt. From the neck up, I, mean, I think this could be my new favorite Leia. And from the neck down, you know, this is Padme's cape, okay? This is from Padme. And I've always liked this cape, even though it's thick. It's thick, but it still kind of gets out of the way. But I just love the texturing on it. And this color just works. The texturing is so good on this cape. The folds back here, this little bit, how that's sculpted in. This, this little fold there looks great. I don't mind them reusing stuff from other figures as long as it works. And in this case, yeah, this works just fine. And as far as the outfit itself, it's all white and it is reused from Hoth Leia. Now, of course, on Hoth Leia, it's kind of kind of hard to see all the detail, you know, because this vest is on. But you can definitely tell it's the same top, same legs, same legs, same legs, maybe same hands, maybe. But yeah, it's totally fine. I mean, this works perfectly, but all this detail in here looks very nice. That's what the back looks like. You know, we can't see Hoth Leia's back unless you take that vest off. Got some very nice wrinkles back here. The sleeves look good, the upper arm, great wrinkles. Now the gloves, I couldn't find a figure that I own that these gloves match up with. Got a cool little cut right there, some wrinkles. Same thing on this arm, just white with some really nice sculpt there, nice texturing. Just has a cool feel to it. And again, this glove, great wrinkles there. And again, you have a cut right there in the glove. Now the belt, I was going through some of my figures and I couldn't find a figure that this belt matches up with. So this belt may be new. Maybe, I mean, comment below, but I couldn't find one that this belt lines up with, but this belt looks uh, so good. Pouches look good. I love the shape of it. The buckle, super clean silver paint there on the buckle. 
Got a great texture in here. All those lines, you know, kind of gives it a nice leather look. The holster, once again, nice sculpt, nice leather feel to it. Very nice holster. Just kind of comes around in the back. Not a whole lot going on back here. And the belt and this strap and the holster are a totally separate piece. It just kind of floats there. Even this here, you know, can move. It's not glued anywhere. And that's fine because it's not going anywhere and it totally gets out of the way of legs, you know, all, yeah, legs up, it just moves with it. Yeah, the, the belt and the holster are just cool. I love this. You got a little bit of detail right there too. That looks really, really nice. I love this. This looks great. Awesome looking belt. And as far as legs, they're the same legs as Hoth Leia, just a different shade of white. But you can see all those lines and all the sculpt, you know, kind of, kind of matches up, but they look good. All this in here, very nice. Love the wrinkles, Got some nice wrinkles around the knees. That's what the back of the legs look like. Yeah, very good. Got some good wrinkles back here. Um, now from the knees down, of all the figures I own, I can't find these boots anywhere. So these boots may be new. I mean, comment below if you know where these came from, but to me, I couldn't find them. But you got this awesome texture back here kind of smooth in the front, you know, still got a little bit of a texture on them, but the backs, I love this back here. Some nice wrinkles, nice heel, sole, nice tops. I mean, the boots look so good. From head to toe, this Leia is just gorgeous. And like I said, I think this may be my new favorite Leia. And as far as articulation, side to side of the head, got a little bit of down, not a whole lot of up because of the hair sculpt and some decent tilt. Now, as far as arms up, the cape kind of gets in the way, but they do go up. And once again, the cape kind of gets in the way, but they do go all the way around. She's got single elbows, but both get past 90. That's awesome. There's a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist. So the right hand has a very nice up and down hinge and the left wrist has a side to side hinge. She's got some twist right at the waistline, but not much crunch, not much back and a little bit of side to side tilt. And like I mentioned, the holster and belt and everything's nice and flexible so the legs can get up that far. And the holster will just move right out of the way so the legs can go out to there. They go back that far. She has double jointed knees that get up that far. There's an upper thigh swivel and there's also boot swivel. The feet go down all the way. They go up just to there and you do have some swivel at the ankle. And as far as accessories, there's the Defender Sporting Blaster that comes with this Leia. Very cool. I love the silver on the tip of the barrel. The rest is just black, but you got some great sculpt work in there. And that's what the flip side looks like, just more of the same, but yeah, cool pistol. And let's see how she holds this blaster. Well, the hand is really tight. Okay, there, yeah, trigger finger right on the trigger, right through the trigger guard. And that is just great. That is wonderful. Yeah, she looks really nice holding that in one hand. And with these amazing elbows, you can get the pistol all the way up here. And again, great elbows and a great wrist hinge. She can fire low from the hip like that. But yeah, just having her straight out firing, that is a really, really nice look for this figure. And let's see how the holster works. This will just drop right in. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that goes in very nice and it's very stable and that looks very, very nice in the holster. And there's the E11 that comes with this Leia and it's fine. I and mean, we've seen this before with some of the Mandalorian figures. You know, it's got the extended magazine right there. Got like a little flashlight on the front. There's no paint on it anywhere, but it is a pretty cool looking blaster. And let's see how she holds the E11. It goes in very well. Uh, the trigger finger doesn't quite make it to the trigger. It's pretty stable in one hand, but at the same time, it's a little loose. Uh, it's not just gonna fall out, but you know, once again, she looks pretty good firing that with one hand. And if you wanna get it in two hands, no problem. Yeah, she looks good just at a relaxed stance like that. And there she is at more of a ready stance and I think that looks awesome right there. And if you wanna put her in some kind of firing pose, I think that looks very, very good there. And these elbows are really good. I mean, you can get the blaster all the way up to her shoulder and that is not bad right there. And there she is again at a relaxed stance. I'm gonna go stick her on the shelf and see what she looks like there. Oh yeah, this figure looks great. She looks so good on the shelf there. Yeah. So. As far as timeline, the comics that this figure was taken from take place in Zero ABY, which is basically right after the events of A New Hope. So I have her right here. 
And as far as scale, she's about the same height as the Yavin Ceremony version of herself. And she's about the same height as the classic A New Hope version of herself. So I think she scales very well, you know, with the other Leia's. I think she looks great. And um, I am super happy with this figure. So I'd have to say this is a beautiful Leia. I mean, this is just great. I think this is my new favorite. The face, it's just gorgeous. It is so well done. Love it. The eyes, nose, mouth, everything about it just looks really good. Hair sculpt. Love it. The cape, yeah, it's reused from Padme, but it's totally fine. The body from Hoth Leia, it works. Gloves, belt slash holster, and boots. If somebody out there knows where these came from, or if you know for a fact if, if this is all new, comment below. But man, these boots, you know, it's got this cool texture on the front and got this wicked looking pattern on the back. I mean, just the boots are awesome. Holster and belt, just cool. Gloves are great. Yeah, from head to toe. This is a great looking Leia. I am so happy I picked this up, but I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of this comic book version of Princess Leia Organa. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it. I just thank you all so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time.